Hello everyone. The title of this report is Difficulty and Beauty Network Evaluation with Interval Number Eigenfact Method. This report will be separated into four parts. They are general introduction, interval number eigenfact method, numerical results, and the conclusion. First, I will introduce the rated content of the first part, general introduction. With the development of network information technology, the importance of evaluation for network information system keeps increasing. In order to assess the performance of network information system more precisely, it's urgent to establish scientific and reasonable network evaluation frameworks. In this paper, we propose a novel difficulty and beauty based network evaluation method using interval number eigenfact scheme. This slide shows the upper hierarchical architecture about the assessment framework. As you can see, on the top is final score of the target network. We evaluate the target network through two different perspectives. The difficulty domain and the beauty domain representing subject dynamic indicators and objective static indicators, respectively. This difficulty and beauty evaluation was originally used in the field of competitive sports. We borrow and fuse the idea into network assessment to highlight the decision-making process of a group of experts on target networks. These two perspectives form the first level indicators. We further separate eight second level indicators and the first level indicators accordingly. They are coverage, transmission, processing, storage, and uh, protection under the difficulty indicator, situation awareness, mission planning, and uh, action control and beauty indicator. This slide demonstrates the third level indicators architecture and the second level indicator processing. As you can see, there are five third level indicators and the processing. They are processing error rate, access node physical roping ratio, access node, node draw homing rate, processing delay and the processing delay jitter. We use this set of third level indicators as an example. There are 56 third level indicators in total. The number of third level indicators and the different second level indicators can be varied. And the type of third level indicators can be adjusted according to target network. Next, I will introduce the related contents of the second part. Interval number eigenfact method. In this part, we first introduce the definition of interval number and its algorithm. An interval number is expressed as a picture, where the superscript L indicates the lower band of the interval number and the superscript R indicates the up band of the interval number. The algorithm used in the paper is shown in PPT. The multiplication rule and the power operation rule can be summarized as taking the maximum and the 
minimum values of all combination of the up and lower band of two interphone numbers. This slide shows the process of weight calculation. Firstly, experts give judgment uh, matrix A based on their own experience, and A sub IG represents the importance of the I in indicator compared with the J indicator. Secondly, calculators normalize the eigenvectors and uh, corresponding to the largest eigenvalues of the matrices where B sub J superscript minus and B sub J superscript plus are the eigenvector corresponding to the largest eigenvalue of matrix A superscript minus and A superscript plus respectively. Then calculators weight coefficient values. Finally, calculators weight of each indicators where sigma sub i superscript minus and sigma sub i superscript plus respectively represent the lower and up bound set of weights. This slide is about score calculation. The scores are given by experts for third level indicators and beauty. For third level indicators and difficulty, the score is obtained through the measurement of network performance. Scores of second and first levels are obtained by aggregating the information entropy weights and the scores of the raw layers. We classify the rank of network performance into four classes. Excellent, good, qualified, and unqualified. Each class has a corresponding reference score interval as this table represents. For the level qualitative indicators and beauty, experts give score interval within the reference interval according to their experience. For third level quantitative indicators and difficulty, according to the real network measurement, which also be classified into four classes. Excellent, good, qualified and unqualified. The measurement result is mapped to the score within the reference interval through the mapping formula. About non-real aggregation. In the weighted sum method, every lower level indicator is regarded as a component of upper level indicator. And the indicators under the C Upper level indicators are independent of each other and have equal importance. This method is used for aggregation of qualitative indicators. The weight the product method is also known as power operation method, which is suitable for the situations where each lower level indicator has different importance and uh, indispensable to the upper level indicator. This method is used for aggregation of quantitative indicators. Then I will introduce our numerical results. In the simulation, we consider a communication network consisting of multiple cellular networks and a core network. 
the figure plots finer score of the networks versus the score of task completion benefit. Indicator C55 represents the weight sum of the percentage of completed tasks of different levels to the total number of task goals. Since C55 is a third level indicator under action control, which is a qualitative indicator, it aggregates upward with the other indicators in the same level by the weight sum method. Note that the weight of C55 is relatively small. As true in the figure, when its score is zero, the score of the network is high, which means that it has little effect on the score of the entire network. Considering the final score of the network and the different scores of C5, it can be observed from the fig set. Once the score of C5 is high, the score of the network is high. The fig plots final score of the network versus the score of coverage multiplicity. Indicator C2 means the degree of redundancy of coverage in a certain area. If this area is within the coverage of K nodes, then its coverage multiplicity is K. Since C2 is a third level indicator under coverage, which is a quantitative indicator, it's aggregated upward with other indicators in the same level by the weight the product method. Note that the weight of C2 is relatively large, as true in the figure. When its score is zero, the score of the network is low, which means that it has a greater impact on the score of the entire network. Considering the final score of the network and the different score of C5, it can be observed from the fig set. Once the score of C5 is high, the score of the network is high. Packed loss rate indicator represents the percentage of packs that cannot be forwarded by the network device due to lack of resources in the root and a stable road state. The ratio of the lost data packets to the total number of transmitted data packets. It can be seen from the fig that C2 has a great impact on the score of the network than the C10. When the score of the two indicators both change from 0 to 1, the final score of the network changes greatly with C2. Because the weight of C2 is larger than that of C10, which means the corresponding impact to the network rating is more notable. Finally, I will make a conclusion of this paper. In this paper, we propose a difficulty and beautiful network variation with the interval number eigenfact method. Experimental results show that the proposed method can evaluate multi-indicator networks appropriately and objectively. Thank you for listening.